this video we'll be taking a look at the quotient rule. So you can see the definition for the quotient rule at the bottom of the screen. It's a method of finding the derivative of a function that is the quotient of two other functions. So if you're asked to differentiate these functions here, these examples here, you would have to use the quotient rule because each function is a quotient of two other functions. In other words, it's one function over another. So in the first example, you have 4x cubed minus 3, that's one function on top, over 2x plus 7, another function. So when you have one function over another, you apply the quotient rule. Here are the steps involved. First you identify u and v. So u will be the top function, v will be the function at the bottom or in the denominator. You differentiate u to get du dx and differentiate v to get dv dx. The reason for this is we'll be subbing du dx and dv dx into our formula. So you can see our formula here. It involves v, u, du dx and dv dx. So once you've figured out what they are, sub them into your equation and then simplify your equation to get an answer. So pause at this point to review the steps. So we'll take a look at an example of the quotient rule. So we're asked to differentiate this particular function, which is a quotient of two functions. So our first step is to identify u and v. So it's always u over v. So u is equal to 4x minus 2, while v is x squared plus 1. Next, we differentiate both of them. So we get du dx, so we're differentiating u. 4x, when we differentiate that we get 4, differentiate a constant, you get 0. Differentiate v, we get dv dx. x squared, when we differentiate that we get 2x, differentiate 1, we get 0. So at this point we've step 1 completed and we've step 2 completed. Next, we need to complete step 3, sub in for u, v, du, dx, and dv, dx into the formula. So this is the formula we need to apply. We've figured out u, v, du, dx, and dv, dx already. Here they are here on the right hand side. So we'll just apply them to our formula. So it's v, du, dx. So v is x squared plus 1. Multiply by du, dx, which is 4. Put in our minus u, which is 4x minus 2. Put our brackets around it. By dv, dx, which is 2x. And that's all over v squared, which is x squared plus 1, all to be squared. Next, we complete our multiplication. So we have x squared plus 1 by 4. So x squared by 4 gives us 4x squared plus 1 by 4 gives us plus 4. Next, we've minus 4x minus 2 by 2x. Let's put in our minus and we'll multiply out. So 4x by 2x gives us 8x squared. Minus 2 by 2x gives us minus 4x. So that leaves us with 4x squared plus 4, minus 8x squared, minus by minus gives us a plus 4x, all over x squared plus 1, to be squared. Finally, we simplify it down as much as possible, so we have 4x squared minus 8x squared gives us minus 4x squared, plus 4x, plus 4, all over x squared plus 1 to be squared. And that's our final answer.